Some people are getting revenge on their cheating spouses by suing their lovers. This is especially true in North Carolina, where some women have successfully sued their husband and his mistress over so-called alienation of affection. The jilted spouse has to prove that some degree of love existed in the marriage and that the malicious conduct of a third party contributed to the love being lost. According to an article in Elle magazine, some women's or some former wives rather in North Carolina have been awarded millions of dollars in damages. Tori, you're shaking your head. Yeah, I just, this is wrong in three ways and it's outdated. Laws are outdated, they're antiquated. Remember Loving v. Virginia, blacks couldn't marry a white person back then in 19... Uh, 67? Yeah, something yeah. like really close. Right. So this A puts women as the wicked witch, right? It's never to do with men. B, mm -hmm. it is heteronormative. We're not talking about gay couples or lesbian couples. What about if it's a woman, a woman, and another woman, right? Like that's unclear. And third, the idea of alienation of affection is a puritanical, old school American value that women are going to come in and show a little potato or a little leg and get, get, the, get their guy and they are the problem. That's why right. girls have to wear pants. It can't show their skirts. It's not like, hey guys, turn your eyes away. It's women, you're the problem. All of this is antiquated and fully based in misogynistic stew. Totally agree with I her. Just, I just totally saw under agree. Tori's name, Democrat Colorado. <laughs> and she was at the White House. <laughs> <laughs> That's her Here, dream. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip this for you, Tori, because during our morning meeting, my wife was listening. She's from North Carolina. Mm. Her, I don't want to get too close to home with this, but she knows a woman who was sued. Really? She's very well off. She was sued because she was the one, she was involved the in the cheating, and that guy got her money. Whoa. So it goes both That's ways. Bad. You say it's antiquated oh. and misogynistic, not always, because this woman You're pretty also. much saying that your partner has no sort of yeah. backbone. Give me a break. No Can accountability. You, I know accountability what? that just this anybody can be seduced. What, Al? This doesn't, I, I just, I don't see any of this. Even I see this I. as nothing but money. Anytime oh, yeah. you are talking about an emotion and trying to put it in a, con if, I was, if I was a painter and I came to your house, Sam, and our contract said, Sam has to love it, what does that even mean? Like, that's not, a, that's not something, it is, the job has what? to be completed and here's how we know it's done. So when you start talking about emotions, a contract should automatically be null and void because there's no way to measure that. Like, what is love to me? What is love to don't the, Jeff? Like, what, it, it's Mary. a weird don't thing. Don't poo-poo on a marriage certificate and a marriage I'm license. I'm just saying when you put it in, in a contract. Well, that was a weird analogy. That was really weird. <laughs> but I heard you. I got you. Yeah. I but everybody it. made faces. How is that up weird? Here. Everybody made faces up here when you when you did the painting analogy. You just cannot so you know. put emotions. In well, he's frozen. Oh, you have to say the contract <laughs> okay. is this. Oh, you keep freezing now.